So I've just completed the landmark program up in London over the last four days. And I wanted to just shoot a video just to kind of summarize everything that I thought of it and my reflections kind of the day after. So first of all, the first thing to say is if you look online, landmark is one of those things that polarizes people. You've got some people that say that it's the best and most, most enlightening thing they've ever done. And then you've got others that will say that quite frankly, landmark feels a little bit more like just a cult and little else. And to be honest, a little bit of a waste of your money, which it's something that costs 590 quid. That's definitely something you should factor in in your decision in terms of whether to do it. For me, I can actually see both elements of it. I did have probably two of the biggest revelations I've had in my life whilst doing the course. And I also came away thinking there is some elements of this course that do make me feel a little bit uncomfortable. And I would also argue that those two life experiences and life epiphanies that I had came as a result more of the people that I met on the course rather than actually what the course material was itself. So the premise of Landmark really kind of revolves around and really kind of comes down to the idea that essentially life has no meaning and everything that we give meaning to, everything that has meaning in our life is something that we have essentially given meaning ourselves to i.e. we've created a story on top of the event that actually happens. And Landmark really works towards kind of shifting away from those, closing the past off and kind of moving into a new world where you'll be able to assign or go through a life where you don't assign meaning to things that doesn't need to have meaning assigned to it. So on one hand, I think that is a hugely liberating concept. And I think on one hand, there's actually a lot to be said for that. And for me personally, the reasons I actually took the course was really I just wanted to have a little bit more confidence in life. And I really wanted to have a little bit more confidence in my working capabilities as well. I'd always kind of felt that I had the ability to blag and project confidence without actually thinking that I necessarily had the confidence within, with, you know, within inside me actually to go with the confidence that I was backing up. And I hoped that Landmark could help me to get that self-belief. It's too early to say whether it's done that, but it's definitely helped me shift off a lot of the anxieties that I had kind of bubbling below the surface that you could argue I didn't necessarily need to have. And I think for that reason, there's there's been some merit in me doing the program. I would also argue that Landmark's days are very, very long. And if you are the kind of person that struggles with being restless, or you're the kind of person that wants kind of an immediate answer, it's not the program for you. I mean, each day starts at 9 a.m. and each day finishes at 10 p.m. with the exception of the fourth and final day. And I would argue that though those days do go relatively quickly and they don't feel like 13 hour days, they do feel like unbelievably long days. And on each day when you get home, it's probably going to be realistically for most people between 11 and 12. The thought of then going back the next day, leaving your house, you know, seven or eight or whatever to be there for nine. It can feel very psychologically draining knowing that you have to do that. So that is something to definitely be mindful of. I'd also say as well that the the trainer, teacher, whatever you want to call him that we had, he was quite a divisive character. I mean, I myself work in HR and staff training, so I have seen how a coach or a trainer sometimes at times works best when they're divisive. And you almost don't want a coach to necessarily be liked by everybody in the room. And it was interesting for me to observe that in our course where we had... I think roughly between about 130 and 150 people, a lot of the women were the ones that more kind of disliked him. And I suppose you could possibly argue that maybe he could have shown a little bit more empathy to some of the issues that were coming up in the room for people. And I think you could possibly argue that maybe there were times when he came on a little bit harder than he needed to. For me personally, I don't have a huge problem with that, but there were a lot of people that took homage with that. And there were a lot of people that did challenge him at times, but I think part of being a good cho a good coach is to deal with challenge as and when it comes. On the third day, when Landmark's kind of final principle was revealed, as I said, that the idea that life has no meaning and we are all essentially just human beings that react to previous life experience, it was a very odd experience because he essentially delivered it in a way that first of all made you feel very bleak and almost numb towards the rest of your life and almost questioning what the purpose was before then building us up again. So when he did the revelation and built us back up again, everybody left in this kind of euphoric state. And it was just before our, it was just before our dinner break on the third day. And it was strange going for people with dinner on the course because it was all like we were kind of living this euphoric high together. And I mean, I have done drugs in the past and it almost felt a little bit like that in terms of we were these people that were sitting together on this shared path, kind of 
living life at a slightly higher level than we previously had done. Obviously, when you have that kind of experience, it's not going to last. And reflecting on it the day after, I kind of feel a little bit like it's nothing that I didn't already know. I kind of feel like it's nothing that you couldn't find from doing your own research online. And a lot of the concepts of landmark, as people pointed out in the room, are quite similar to things like Eckhart Tolle with the idea of living in the present and being in the now, taking some concepts away from Buddhism and the Kabbalah. And also there's elements of NLP and kind of like emotional reframing as well. But if you're somebody that's never taken your mind there or you're somebody that's never researched anything like that, then possibly that's something that you will definitely, definitely get out of that. The two life experiences I've actually had and taken away from Landmark, I actually am incredibly grateful to have had. And for that reason alone, I'm happy to have paid the 590 quid that I paid. And it instantly, we're not joking here, within two days, helped me patch up my relationship with my dad in a way that I'd never really thought of actually doing. And that, that for me in itself is worth all the money in the world. And I also had some really, really interesting conversations with people that I never would have probably met outside doing a course like that. And that again is, is worth all the money in the world because there's been things that I've struggled with that just talking to people that have had not similar experiences, but people that have had the same goal in terms of working through their previous life experiences. We've kind of, you know, shared insights and shared views and they've kind of really helped me to kind of reframe my mind and kind of take it in a more positive direction. And to give the program credit, again, as I said, I don't know if this is Landmark or whether this is the people that I met. I've had counselling several times between the ages of sort of 24 to 26, 27, and then a little bit later again at kind of 29. And I've never really got that far with counselling. I've kind of unburdened a lot of things, but never really kind of taken them to a, you know, a level where I actually resolve them. They've just kind of heightened them in my awareness. And I think to a certain extent, that's possibly because I found that counselling kind of at times often, if it's done to a average standard and not a exceptional standards, often kind of allows you to process it without actually finding the solution for yourself when you just kind of unburden. And Landmark actually helped me kind of find a solution for myself, which I have to say instantly I feel has, has been a, a massive positive step of like 10, 15% already in my life. And some of the revelations that I've had probably came due to the intensity and the length of the course. And the fact that there were times when when you're kind of forced to face up to everything and you are kind of forced to reflect. I also have to say as well that I thought that the course would be quite technique focused at times. I thought there'd be times when we do kind of group work. As I've said, I work in HR and staff training, so I'm fairly well aware of how a structure of a training course works. But there wasn't actually so much of that. And a lot of the times it was actually at points very, very emotional. And I'm quite a... I'm a sensitive guy in terms of my ability to empathize and relate to people, but I'm actually not a particularly sensitive guy in terms of things making me cry. But there were a couple of incidents where I found myself getting very, very emotional. And for a, you know, you do empathize with people on the course very quickly. You do empathize a lot with what people have been through and make your own kind of correlations and kind of similarities with it. And essentially that is what you're meant to do. That's the power of shared and group learning. And it's really effective to do that from people that you would never actually have met before that would have had experiences that you can't actually have imagined happening to you. With that being said, there are elements of the cultish side, which a lot of people do say. And in fact, on the first day when he did a kind of opening Q&A as to any questions that people had, one man did actually step up and say, is Landmark a cult? So the first thing that makes it feel cultish is the fact that there is a lot of very strange and almost melodramatic language that's used for example there's references to creating a new genesis of possibility which kind of feels like it's almost making its own take on religion obviously of course it isn't but that kind of language almost sounds like it's kind of landmarks kind of getting above its station and possibly that it it doesn't necessarily need to be quite over so over elaborate with it and then the other thing as well is that there is several references throughout the throughout the program to what what the next program you should be doing is and that whilst it does feel cultish because it kind of feels a little bit like once you're in you're in it's also a little bit like we're going to catch these people whilst they're in the course and feeling vulnerable and at that point we're then going to try and get another sale out of them and i can understand why landmark does that in terms of the fact that they don't actually do any external advertising so essentially people booking onto the course comes directly from word of mouth and the best way obviously to get people on the course 
by word of mouth is to get people that have done the course bringing their friends along and on the third day graduates from the program are invited to come along with the people that they've recommended do the program and it's kind of very much it's a very kind of cultish feeling in terms of when you've got a room full of 150 to 200 people all together that have done the same course and have the same shared vision and have taken the same principles back to their life and I would appreciate that if you're an external person and you were watching that you may think a little bit like perhaps the people in this room have been brainwashed and that isn't the case but it's just it's such a it's such a kind of I'm trying to think of the way of phrasing it. It's such a kind of let's bring everybody together and get them to articulate the vision together that it does it does have a cultish element to it. And the other thing as well is that prior to the fourth day, the fourth day is the shorter evening session where people that are about to finish the program can bring loved ones along to kind of watch them, not quite graduate, but watch them complete the program. You'll be encouraged to tell your loved one why they should be doing the program. And... It's a little bit like a kind of cult in terms of you're bringing people from the outside in and you're welcoming to them, they're welcoming into them into your world. And something that I have to say I actually really did dislike was on the third day when the teacher said, referencing the fourth day, when he said, "Tell the people that you're bringing, tell the people that you're bringing to bring their card because they're going to want to sign up." It's a little bit like they're kind of preconceiving that this is how people are going to come, and it's a little bit like we're going to take their money. You know, we're going to recruit them in and then we're going to take their money just as we took yours. And that A makes it feel a little bit of a scam, which it isn't. And that B makes it feel a little bit like, let's recruit new members. Let's take everything we can from these new members. And for me, that kind of devalues actually the quality of the program and some of the stuff that you do come out with. So that being said, I'm glad I did it. Like I say, there's there's already been some positive influences in my life and there's already been some things that I've taken away and I thought I actually really like that. But there is a, that slightly darker side just to be mindful of. But I was actually talking about it with my friend yesterday, no, the day before, sorry, when we were coming back from the, the third day. And I said about how I feel the cultishness and the sales stuff kind of devalues the program. And he made the point, and he's perfectly right to say, if you're a grown adult and you can make your decision and you can ignore that, it's not really that detrimental and it's not really that damaging to do that. You just have to assume that people are grown adults and capable of, I suppose, capable of, making decisions for themselves as to whether they want to do the program or not. So I'll leave it there. More than happy to answer any questions that anybody's got on the program, but I hope I've given a fairly accurate and very truthful review of what my experience of doing Landmark actually was.